Well, that's, that's how you do it. Pardon? Not quite the old times, but you still got it. Hmm. Let's look at our notes, what we've got so far. People. Chicken place. <laughs> What else can you tell me? Why don't you take it to the police? Just go there and file a report. Photos, flashing lights, fingerprints, you know the drill. The evidence is very clear. Even a moderately talented detective could easily wrap this case up. Or just try the phone. Votes, by the way. Triple five, triple one. Please, take a look at this. Well, okay. Let's see. Need a secretary. Don't you want to look at it? Yeah, of course. With the message. There you go. Where is it? What am I looking for? I need it. I need it. My wife took all the good ones. She knew they'd only get... Let... Hold on. How do I look at it? Don't you want to look? Yeah, of course, Deborah. Hey, give me a second. Uh, what am I looking for? Move camera to the right. Ah, there we go. What's this? Please note this one. I know Molly very well. Please note this when deciding whether or not to accept my assignment. 
Miss Ibanez is a trusted friend. Treat her as gentlemen. And... I know. I felt like I'd been hit on the back of my head with a blackjack. Reality tilted. Molly. Good God. What was her name doing there? I glanced at the opposite wall with the well-worn picture frames. Like an eternally dark hole in the wall. A missing piece. She was wearing a light silk dress and singing a lullaby. The waves caressing her beautiful long legs. Why Molly? Why now? I don't know. Mr. Featherland? Santino, are you all right? What the hell is this supposed to mean? I don't know anything, Mr. Santino. My mistress told me to give this to you. She said you'd understand. Don't you? Oh, of course I understand, Miss Ibanez. I get it very well. But this case is becoming more and more confusing. It's starting to look like blackmail. Blackmail? Don't play innocent with me. But... All right. When can I visit? Visit? Me? Not you. Miss Katsenko. Oh, yes. You can find her at the Tsar Club. Didn't you tell me she's not the social kind? That she's especially unsociable? Or does she only like loud and crowded clubs? No, she's really not like that. But she owns the place. Judging by the flyer, it must be a very busy club, especially on New Year's Eve. I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding Miss Katsenko, but there's one small problem, Mr. Featherland. And what's that? Let me guess. Mr. Wessler better not know about my visit. Exactly. How did you know? That's obvious, isn't it? Twenty years experience, ma'am. Oh, and please, call me Sonny. It was a pleasure to meet you, Mr. I mean, Sonny. I'll talk about the rest with Ms. Katsenko in person. A good friend of mine would be happy to take you home if you'd like. I'd appreciate that, Sonny. Five, 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 nine, three, two. Bothering you? Of course not, Could you come over? I've got a favor to ask if you're not busy. For you, anything. Just a minute. Thank you. Lewis arrived a few minutes later. He lived in the rooms above, so it wasn't difficult getting here. Not to mention that he's a rabbit. It was a quick hop. The Atlas Hotel was his inheritance. It was once a well-renowned place, but not anymore. The last economic crisis ruined it. And now, besides me, he was the only resident of this enormous place. Thanks for being so quick, Lewis. Can you drive Miss Ibanez home? I have some things to take care of. Sonny, <clears throat> you know anything for you. Thank you for being so considerate, Sonny. I Don't mention it. Goodbye, then. So long, Deborah. Every whiskey has the same cup. I need a
Why is that name so familiar? So where are we supposed to go now? <laughs> I'm really quite enjoying this.